Hello, Internet. Welcome to the 2018 Haunted Garage at Scaratoga Screams. This year is a haunted mine, so we shall enter the mines. I'm going to try this with the lights out. Hopefully the camera will work. If it's not, I'll just do lights on. And I'll try and keep the camera steady. It's kind of hard. I have terrible camera equipment. It's just a phone. I am sorry. I spend my money elsewhere. So, let us enter the mines. So this is my haunted mine. Let me close the door behind me. We uh, decked out the entire garage as this mine shaft. And I'll, uh, in the dark, so I have, a, I have a flashlight on it right now, so I'm trying to help you guys see what it looks like without, you know, making it see that it's just a garage. But... This is all construction paper. I bought it at Home Depot. So it's just paper uh, crumbled up and it's uh, more durable. They use it, I think, to put down on floors when they've built flooring or whatever in a construction site, but it gives a very nice cave look. I didn't even paint it. I know you, could, if you wanted, you could paint this and it would look even, probably add more texture, but I think it just works great. So uh, we bring them in. I give them a quick little safety spiel, make sure they're gonna stay together. And then I have them look out into this area here. And as they're looking, they're usually not looking up. I'm gonna point this up right now. It's normally dark, but you've got a guy hanging up there. Normally he's not very visible, but this is just so you can see what happens. Uh, go ahead. Ah! And yeah, he just is a dummy who falls straight to the floor. Um, I'll step in there. I'll kick him off to the side just to, you know, he's off to the side now. And then I bring him back and I lock up this section. And I point them down this hallway. It's a guided tour, so I'm with them the whole time, but I make them go first usually. And that helps me pace out the effects. And then we walk straight ahead and they come up this platform. I'm trying to help you see everything. Um, but as I get up here, I have them look down into a bottomless pit is an effect run with a two-way mirror and then oh, another mirror at the bottom of that but it just goes down which is pretty and as they're looking down I'm gonna see if we can make this work so you can see what happens I'm gonna step off but if you watch the pit go ahead and drop it so it drops and it's it's a uh, effect I used last year uh, for a haunted elevator and that is a pallet jack I'll show you in a little bit how that works but uh, the more weight that is standing on it the faster it drops. So I get them to be staring right over the edge, and then as they're looking, uh, we drop it on them. And so, you know, it adds to the the startle. I still, th I like it because no one really expects to be dropped in a garage. Uh, then we just keep, continue walking straight down the hallway into a more open cave area. So this one, if you, even as you looked up, I know it'll be dark, I mean, it'll be a garage, but when it's really dark, you can't see anything up there. So let me back up. Okay. So, um, just lots of bats in here. And they have a look around. And as they're wandering through on this side, there's this giant bat on the wall. And then uh, as they're looking at it, ah! he flies just straight over their heads. Uh, you can't see him anymore. Okay, he's up there. So he flies just right over their heads. That's a nice little startle. And then we send them into the caves. So, if I cover my light... Yeah, it's too dark. Okay, we'll leave it up. So, when it, without my flashlight, which is how it's really run, the lighting is actually really nice and creepy, and, but this flashlight allows us to see kind of what's going on in here. Uh, we decked out these whole caves, and we started throwing spiders up in here, and then I have them look down this hallway. Hold on. Let me turn on and as they're walking towards it, I kick on this light here, so he illuminates, and that guy charges out at him, like so, and it's, he pops up. This is a second night of it running, and so he, he needs some repair work, but he only just shoots straight up and pops up in their face at the end of this corridor here, and so that's a nice little startle. So then they continue down this way. There are spiders everywhere. this guy so a lot of these webbing are hanging down low enough so you get 
didn't have to hang any special strings. People just walk through the normal webbing that's here. And that worked out really well. Okay, so then let me try and show you everything. It's just, a, you know, a spider cave with lots of webs, which looks really cool, I think. And I'll try and give you a... In the dark, it looked more like that. Anyway, sorry. Okay, so then as they're walking towards this section of the cave, they get pretty close. Um, this is what happens. Ah! That's right. So, morph suit. It's my son. He's super excited. His first year, he got to work in the garage full time. He had a great time. Did very well. So they got to this door here, and the door's got this lock, and that's intentional because they can't open it. They don't know how to. And as they're stuck up against the door, that rattlesnake goes, and then he strikes. And so that's just run off of some fishing wire, as you can see, and just a pull string. The guy behind the curtain on the other side just triggers him. So then we unlock the door, and we step out into this section here where we have some skeletons and whatnot. Um, and as they're, they're thinking they're supposed to, there's a corner there and I tell them to keep walking and turn that corner. As they go to turn the corner, I kick on the leaf blower on what's called a post ghost. Um, and it's, yeah, just a leaf blower, remote trigger. This remote, I've got three channels and I run two of the lights in there to highlight different effects when I'm up on the trigger. And then I run the leaf blower. So it allows me to control when some of the scares happen as well, which is very nice. So then we come around here to the candy bowl. Let's see if you can, it's kind of this webbed out section on a box and more boxes. And there's a spider there with glowing eyes. And there's usually a lot of candy on that. And one of them goes to grab the candy. When they go grab it, the spider pops right up on them, which is great. Uh, they get their candy. And then I, I'm up in front at this point and I unlock that chain and I you know, ask them how they liked it. I thank them for coming. And they're, as they're about ready to leave and they're getting just past that guy who fell earlier, he pops up above them and scares them. And we can you know, freak them out or just say hello depending on how freaked out the kids are. We, we try not to make anyone cry too much. But that, and then that really is the end. So at which point we send them out. And that is my haunted garage for 2018. Uh, Johnny, could you turn on the lights, please? Sure. So I'm gonna show you behind the scenes real quick some of the things we did. And I'll, for some of the effects, I might do a separate video. Um, some things I wanna show you. Uh, oh, let's start with the dummy. Okay, sorry, apologize. So the dummies just run off of these. Uh, what I need is a quick release. I don't have one. So it's just uh, clipped into, I have a hook here, and this clips into the back of the dummy who's now hiding under here. Uh, you've got these two um, eye hooks there. You take the third one, yeah, and so then we can run a screwdriver, which is over there. Hold on, we're grabbing it. We can show you how this works real quick. This is very, we run very crude and primitive in some areas, um, but it's what works, which is kind of what matters. So you just hook, you push that down, screwdriver goes in place. And at that point, now we can pull this whole mechanism up and he goes up to the ceiling. And then when we want to drop it, the other string is the release. And he just falls straight to the ground. Uh, his inside is made of one rod of wood or one two by four to hold it in place and everything else is um, furniture insulation or furniture stuffing. So it's super soft. I made sure no one got hit by it, but just in case I didn't want to get in any trouble, it's just a, basically a giant pillow. So we bring them up here. Like I said, it was a pallet jack. So let's step into my workspace. So this is the main center area. Here's my, my helpers for the year, Johnny and Chris. Hello. Um, so they run all the effects from in here, pull strings to run various things. There's that one. Like I said, this is a pallet jack, fantastic use of a pallet jack. Um, so that can lift many, many a pound. I'm not worrying about if someone is too heavy. It's no one can outweigh how much these pallet jack, this pallet jack is rated for. We actually have to weigh it down just so we can get it to drop fast enough. We pump it up and then when they're ready to drop, we just pull the handle and it drops right down. 
we run our sound on a couple different computers and devices, different channels. We have ambient music, and then we had bat sounds, and then we had bug sounds, mm -hmm. and we had a rattlesnake, and that's kind of all just run back here. I the bat is run off of a, a weighted backpack. Very primitive. So if you want to raise the – lower the bat down. Yeah. So hold on. Okay. So you see the bat. He's hanging up there in the corner. So there is a giant pull string. Your light's still on. Oh, I can turn my light off. That's right. Thank you. <laughs> so he just comes down. Pull him out of the way. And there's it is. There's our weighted backpack. And so – they just hook that into the back there, and when I have brought them into the garage, into this section, I mean, they can just let it go. Let's go ahead and let it go. And he just flies right up, which works great. Um, in here, let's go check out the spider real quick. Okay, so the spider is this fantastic contraption that my, uh, my buddy Chris designed, and it's really just a couple brackets with a spring uh, that folds back on a broom handle on this track. So you push it forward, and then the spring engages once you, once you lift up on it. So yeah, it uh, pops back like that. And then go ahead and lift it up. Yeah, and so this guy's been through the ringer now. And he does lift up, and when he pops up, I'll, I'll just pull him. He just engages. Anyway. Um, and then uh, rattlesnake pull string, like I talked about. Just off of fishing wire. And I think that's everything. Uh, one thing I really, really appreciated this year, lighting. I'll do a separate video on this, but just to show you. I've got these little LED spots. And we ran, we used to have some of these that we built a couple years ago at a, a Rocky Mountain Haunters group convention. And they were all run off of one. It was like eight lights, one on one uh, power cord. And they just kind of branched out and there was a permanent thing. Now I took that design, which was not my own. Um, and I modified it, Chris and I did, where we've made them modular. So each light is an individual light, and they run into uh, these uh, these inlets here, these power cords. And these are, uh, I got these off of the internet. They are meant for security cameras. So this is actually a one-to-many switch, and you can plug in and take out each one of these um, power cords. So as I need a different color light, I can say, oh, I want to try a green light in this section. So I plug in a green light. Or then I can swap it out and say, I'd rather have a blue light or a red light. And I can just swap out each individual light through the whole garage. I can add a node of these eight, you know, this is like eight to one, oh, sorry. It's like eight to one um, outlets. Um, or as I need a daisy chain in the whole garage and the LEDs are not overpowering my power uh, cord, my power supply. So uh, I was able to very effectively light the garage this year. I really loved it. Anyway. That is my haunted garage. Here's my help, my partners in crime. Uh, happy Halloween and happy haunting. Wow.